Guys, the other day I was playing Buildable with my friends, and one of them, my friend Monkey, actually built a very small little catapult using a servo right here that would just instantly launch whatever it was. It was a little catapult. And I thought to myself, maybe I can make that way crazier, way bigger, and way more insane by using, like, hundreds of servos and making them coil up kind of like, like a spring, okay? What do you call it? Like, what is, what is one of those things that twists in and out? Like, you know what I mean, okay? I thought that maybe we could actually get enough velocity going to launch all the way to the end. Like, that would be literally insane. Guys, actually, like, a little while back, I made this, uh, catapult. Uh, can I even find it? There it is. Catapult. Load it in. And just very quickly to see what, you know, what we can actually do with this thing, let's actually, you know, try it out with this thing first. Okay, let me, you know, drop it onto the floor. So, as you guys can see, I've used, uh, regular, like, hinges right here with the thruster. That is not what we're gonna be doing now. Delete all the thrusters. All right, there you go. Right, let me anchor everything to the wall real quick. One sec. That way this doesn't break. All right. All right. Okay, so, let me see. Let me actually Actually, let me first of all actually try just doing it very regularly, okay? So delete some of this, delete some of that, and let's let's try this. Okay, yes. I think that should do the trick. Delete that, maybe? All right. And now all I need to do is configure this hinge to have the right settings. So servo torque should be max. Servo speeds should be max. 50, yes. <laughs> and then the biggest angle possible. And let's see what actually happens with this, because I actually haven't uh, le let me, let me fix that real quick. <laughs> All right, I think we're now ready to test this thing out. So let me actually see here. Let me place chair in the little basket. Okay, 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 we're good. Is that connected? Connect the hinge servo to the chair. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. Please don't break. Okay, okay, three, two, one, go. Oh my God. Dude, that went way better than I thought it would. Guys, so as you can see right there, I mean, I slipped out because I mean, I, I didn't put my, I didn't make the thing here proper for this kind of a setup, right? But Dude, look at how fast you just poof, poof. You just launch. Imagine if I did that with like 10 servo. Dude, we are about to make the, the fastest trebuchet the world has ever seen. Oh my God, dude. I'm actually so excited about this now. All right, let me actually try this out here. So what we need to do is we need to make an absolutely massive chain of servos here. Something like that. Okay, wait, actually that's going up. That's the wrong, that's not what I want. All right, that is more like it. All right, <laughs> select all. Okay, let me set all the wheel speed and everything the same. All right, let me see. Okay, let's see what happens when I actually uh just try to turn these okay oh my god okay maybe we've gone a bit far here okay maybe maybe 10 of them is too much jesus all right maybe do like that many <laughs> actually i think my uh, my tool just broke but i think we actually got this right so the idea here is guys okay to actually in like for example right if you take 90 degrees right you want to rotate 90 degrees you want to flip it from here to poof over there i should do it like this poof to poof then, we, then you need to rotate 90 degrees now we could do five degrees 20 times. So if we grab 20 servos and they all rotate 5 degrees, the end will only rotate 9, right? Then what we can do <laughs> is, let's say we have 9 servos. We can add 9 times 50, which allows the final thing to be what? Like 450 speed. Dude, this is gonna be insane. <laughs> so let's actually test that theory out, guys. And then right after we do that, let's build the ultimate trebuchet. <laughs> Alright, guys, just to start off with, let's do just 4. Alright. <laughs> I think we're set up. Wait, servo torque. Ooh, oh, nearly messed it up. All right. The, the <laughs> oh my God. Dude, this is going to be either insane or it's just going to completely break. But it's one or the other. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, they aren't even connected. What, 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 what the heck, man? All right, three, two, one, go, 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 go. What? Oh, I need to unanchor everything. I'm an idiot. Unanchored. All right, now we're live. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God. I didn't go for <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually kidding me, guys? I went the wrong way, so it went down. And then when I stopped pressing it, it just slightly bumped me up. And that literally launched me. At least it didn't break, I guess. Look at it from the positive, right? We have now created an eternal motion machine. <laughs> what if we just, like, lay someone down here and it's just like a wooden spoon, just like, pat, every time. Okay, how do I stop the movement? Okay, I just, I... Uh, where did the spoon go? Oh, my God. All right, I'm ready. Select all unanchored. Wait, I gotta actually set up the... Oh, my God, did I just... Just do the same thing again. Oh my god, this has to be a joke. I just broke it again, didn't I? Ah! All right, please don't mess it up just time, just see. Buff, go! Yes! Yes! Dude, okay, as a test, that is really good. Okay, guys, of course, I didn't make a proper trebuchet either, but it is better than anything. I think the concept works, guys. Let's actually build a flawless trebuchet. I'll be back with you all in one minute, okay?
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you the one and only Trebuchet. Guys, this thing is absolutely flawless. I've actually done some pretty interesting trickery right here. So I pretty much just removed the actual system that the thing had before, like all the hinges and stuff. And I replaced it with this pull. And uh, pretty much it just goes to these uh, servos right here. And that's how it actually works. Like there's no mechanics in the actual Trebuchet. It's all over there. But actually, before I do anything, I forgot about that. I make all of this stuff collision off before the pull actually collides with anything in accident, you know? Collision's off. Okay, we're good. So I think with that we are able to go is that all i think i think i've actually like i'm actually surprised that i actually got everything set up here Dude, let's go all right sit here and press f okay wait wait i gotta delete the anchors okay wait wait is this chair okay this is anchored why am i currently oh because it's stuck in this position okay that makes sense all right three two one go Oh my god, dude. That went way good. We went a little bit too fast. Like, we're not too fast. We went a little bit too low. So I, I think I, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to lower the actual trebuchet a little bit. And I think with that, we should be perfect. We just got, like, launched too far. Oh my god. Okay, let me reload this thing. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> All right, let me delete this junk. Don't need that anymore. All right, so we need to actually block the trebuchet from launching me too far forward. And I think I'm going to do that with just, like, an invisible block. Kind of do it with the lazy way. Okay, here. Like, I want to stop, like, around about there from going forward. So I'm just going to block it off with a giant pole. Floating and everything, it doesn't matter. Mm, maybe like there. Leave it over there. All right. Invisible. <laughs> like it never happened. I think with that we should be ready to go for our second launch here and actually launch to the end. All right. Three, two, one. Okay, wait. The chair is still anchored. One, go. Oh my God, dude. Okay, we still went too far down, but we launched super fast. Oh my God, dude. This thing is freaking out. All right, here. Let's let's reload this thing. <laughs> Load, yes. All right, I got to make some, I gotta make some small tweaks here. Let me try that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, small tweaks have been made. We are fine tuning our launch. All right, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I see. Okay, we're good. We're, we're select all. Wait, no, no, wait, wait. What am I doing? Press F. Oh my God. 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 I pressed the wrong button. Okay. <laughs> Oop. All right, sit down. F. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> yes, I've done it. Oh my God, I'm almost at the end. Where's the end? Where's the end? Dude, why is that stupid stager? I can't see. Oh God, please don't kill me. Okay, dude, I have to see. I will, I will literally commit end life just to see where I am. Okay, we're at the UFO stage, which means that we're only two stages away from the end. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be the new way of making trebuchets. Look, the end is right there. Oh my god. <laughs> what, what? 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 Okay, kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Dude, is there any way I can make this faster? Like, I'm thinking I could technically do instead of four. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now I'm now, now I'm thinking crazy thing. I could do instead of four. I could do 16. S 16 servos? Okay. Um, oh god. Let me try one more launch and then let's actually go for it, okay? This is so simple as well. Just press F and then just poof. And you just launch to the end. It works so flawlessly. I mean, it is literally. Oh my god, are we gonna? Oh my god, oh my god. We just nearly made it to the end. That is insane. Okay, let me let me turn it into 16 servos and let's see how that goes. <laughs> Oh, I love this thing, dude. This thing is so easy to make as well. All right, let's just go for it. <laughs> oh, boy. This can get very crazy very quickly. But uh, if this worked, I think we're going to launch very far. Let's just say that. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Servo speed, obviously 50. Servo angle 5. Torque, max torque. Okay, I think with that, we are set up. All right, let's see. Please don't fall apart. That would be the worst outcome. Okay, it didn't fall apart, I think. I don't think it did. Okay, 3, 2, 1, go! Okay. Okay. We went really fast, but I think I did. Okay. I think I didn't delete something that I was supposed to delete there. So I think that's why it messed up. Okay. There's a block. There's no invisible block here. Hmm. Then I got to lower that, I think. Okay. We're just, we're just making some small tweaks here. I want to launch like to the end. Like that's the goal. Oh my God. I'm All right. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> okay. This is, we're going really fast, but we were, we were going better before. What did I mess up? Did I max out the possibilities? Wait, what stage is this? New stage. Wow. Cool. You know what? I'm just going to make it go insane. I've set all of these angles to 40, which means crazy, okay? That's all that that's all you need to know. 3 2 1 go. Oh my <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, are you insane? Dude. Dude. Oh my god. Guys, that is insane, man. Dude, I absolutely love this build, guys. If you want to build yourself one of these, please send me a picture. There's my Twitter handle on screen right now. I'd love to see them, okay? <laughs> All right, guys. But with that, we're going to end off today's video, guys. If you haven't already, <laughs> like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're currently on our way to 500,000 subscribers. If you can help me get there, I'd super, super ultra appreciate it. Wait, oh my God. Are we going to get to the end? Okay. We were so close. But yeah, guys, please help me out. 500,000 subscribers. I would super ultra appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one, boys. Hey, Saturday.